But speaking of money, um, Japanese players register as a union amid bonus route. Um, now, some of you, like some of you, if you have followed, I think it's the NFL recently. There's been some kind of collective bargaining to do with that. Um, yeah, we're not an, we're not an NFL program, so if you want that information, you're gonna have to go elsewhere. But relating this to Japanese um, soccer, Japanese soccer could be head from Thursday 10th of March again. Japanese soccer could be heading for industrial action after a row over win bonuses for the national team saw the Players Association rescue as a um, register as a labor union. Um, Japanese Players Association (JPFA) announced on went last Wednesday it would register as a union. Vote its president. Toshiya Fujita said it hoped um, to have productive negotiations with the Japanese Football Association, JFA, and avoid potential strike action. Um, he's quoted as saying, um, we want to make an effort to find the best way forward for the, f- for the future of Japanese soccer, he told Japanese, a Jap- Japanese paper, sports paper Nikan. Um, the JFA has opposed demands for a pay rise, pointing to the 2 million yen, 24 and a half, thousand dollars paid to each player for wins at last year's world cup in south africa double the amount um shelled out at the 2006 tournament in germany japan's players were demanding bigger bonuses before the blue samurai won the asian cup in january and had threatened to boycott friendlies with montenegro and new zealand this month the JFA hit back by saying they paid each player 3.9 million 95 million yen when japan won the asian um, Japanese in- internationals currently receive an estimated 100,000 to 200,000 yen for every win, but the players are reported to be asking for a minimum of 1 million yen. Now, would you would you reckon of this? Should do you reckon firstly, I'm going to ask both of you, should players be, and also um at playvibes.com in the chat room and on facebook.com, do you think players should be striking over win bonuses? And basically, do you think players should be striking, period? And also, referees. Throw referees into that because of the um, French League One thing that happened last week that we mentioned. What do you reckon? G-Man, I'll let you take this first. Um, From a fan's perspective, I don't like to see it, to be honest. Um, I I reckon these players, referees, um, um, and others in the game get paid a lot of money for what they do um, rather than those on the lower levels of the game. And you got to think about it, just for 90 minutes of what they do, they get paid extreme amounts and they're willing to, um, you know, go on strike, you know, and they're doing a, they're doing something that's, that's meant to be their passion, Jez. Yeah, I mean, they, they have to look at it from the fan perspective. And I think a lot of times um, players, referees, um, players unions, referee unions, they lose sight of that. I mean, without the fans, there really wouldn't be a game. You know, no, if exactly. you could imagine that all of the major teams, you know, across the world, right, they didn't have any fans to show up, they wouldn't be in business. Yeah. Well, you look at A.D. Boothroyd earlier. I mean, he got sacked partially because attendances were down. So you're well, seeing you manager, you're seeing managers getting sacked for that sort of thing. Um, but does that, if managers are getting sacked because fans aren't turn because fans aren't turning up, do you think? The player, the players should. Do you think that players should take a lot more responsibility in terms of playing for a manager or um, foregoing win bonuses just to make sure that matches keep going? Yeah, I do. I mean, it's, it's especially at, at the lower levels where you know money is so critically important that you have to you have to be playing more, playing for more than just your paycheck. Now, in terms of players taking more responsibility, I, I honestly believe that, especially in the international scene and at club level you know at the end of the day if they know within themselves that they didn't give you know that 110 120 130 however many hundreds of percents that they needed to give in order to win Mm. when they don't you know the fact that they lost doesn't sit you know it's not the fans fault yeah it's their own fault as individuals for not being as committed as they could be you know examples of that being you know what I think (laughs) Manuel Roy Hodgson has come out and said about Arsenal recently. Yeah, we've got, we've got the, we've, we're, we're going to go on to that. The what's up with that moment's next, actually. And then, of course, how I felt about Man United against Liverpool. You know, there, there wasn't that same commitment. So yeah, well, I, 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 I felt I, that I, I felt that same thing for half a season. 
under Roy on during Roy Hodgson's tenure. It was liberties. I mean, these players are playing for Kenny, but why couldn't you have done that for Roy Hodgson as well? Well, that's it, and they they, they just make Roy Hodgson look even worse. When realistically, he didn't do that bad of a job. Mm. He was just unlucky. 